Okay, let's get something out of the way before I even start talking about the game. I don't really like modern horror movies. I like the old ones, though. Romero's Night of the Living Dead is still one of my favorites. However, new horror movies seem to focus on cliches, grotesque amounts of gore, and lame startling gags than they do on actually producing a chilling atmosphere and a creepy story. No other series is more guilty of this than Saw. And what does every terrible franchise need? Yes, a bad game, correct. You get to live. Where are you, Jigsaw? I won't play your game. I won't! Saw follows the story of Detective Tap, who at the game's start is being held prisoner by the series' signature villain, Jigsaw. Of course, like all of the protagonists in the movies, Tap has to solve Jigsaw's puzzles in order to survive. It isn't quite that easy, though, as everyone else in the trap is after a key that is inside Tap's body. I guess they need to tap into him for the key. Now, this might sound a little bit interesting, but it doesn't really make for a good story in a video game. Maybe fans of the movie would like this kind of thing, but having to solve traps in order to not die just isn't that fun. I'd rather be setting the traps. Controls and Saw are some of the worst on the 360. The camera needs to be turned every couple of seconds so you can actually see, as it seems to always give you a terrible angle. Fighting is essentially button mashing, and the controls are just really unresponsive. I thought I was pressing the wrong button to go into the combat stance, but I wasn't. Apparently the game wants to make sure that you really want to pull that left trigger before actually letting you do it. If there wasn't somebody trying to rip open my chest as I did this, it might not be so much of a problem. No! You said you'd free me if I brought him here! My game is over! <laughs> The bread and butter of the game isn't really the combat, it's the puzzles. Just like in the movies, you'll need to find items and get clues in order to save yourself from certain death. Some of these are interesting, like lock picking, but others feel like pointless collection quests that don't have much purpose. In addition to these, there's quick time events that require you to press the A button before you get your head blown off, for example. Unfortunately, these aren't any fun either. That's the problem with this. Most of the game works like it's supposed to, but its original concept doesn't have any entertainment in it. Saw's strongest aspect is definitely its visuals. Faces, especially that puppet Billy, look really realistic, and environments help to convey the creepy atmosphere of the movies. Unfortunately, the game is really dark for the majority of the time, so you won't even be able to see these things. It's like every time the developers had a good idea, they had to shoot themselves in the foot. Oh, maybe that's where the next key is. Saw is a bad video game based on a bad movie series. If you're a fan of this, and I really don't understand why you would be, you might find the story to be semi-interesting. For everyone else, this isn't worth any of your time.